Hello and welcome to Ohio Films Reviews at London Film Festival 2021, although not quite there anymore, actually, if you look at it like that. Um, See my travel bag. Yeah, we're all unpacked now. Uh, today we're talking about King Richard. Um, I'm Cameron and that's Jordy. He's going to tell you about the movie. The film follows Richard Williams as he pushes his daughters Venus and Serena towards their futures as two of the greatest tennis players in tennis history. What's going on? Everybody okay? They got a call, said there was trouble in the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you all need to look around. It's a little wet for practice, don't you think? Don't the girls have schoolwork to do? They do their homework. Tundi's first in her class, Lynn and Isha are too. Now I don't even mind you saying we hard on these kids. You know why? Because we are. That's our job, to keep them off these streets. You want to check on the kids? Let's check on the kids. We got future doctors and lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. The chances of achieving the kind of success that you're talking about is just very, very unlikely. OK, you're making a mistake, but I'm going to let you make it. Watch me hit a few balls. All right. So tell me your names again. I'm Venus. I'm Serena. So what'd you think? Tennis films slap, like, unbelievably. I don't know why <laughs> it is with, like, tennis film, what is me and tennis films, but oh my God, I get so invested in them, every single one of them. Like, Battle of the Sexes, Board vs. Muck and Roll. You can make, like, any tennis film under the sun. Like, they're, like, my two favorites, but, like, Jesus Christ, any tennis film under the sun, I'm like... Yes, go for it. And King Richard was no exception for me. I was just like, mm. yes, go on. <laughs> yeah, um, Will's, Will, Will's bagged it. He's, he's getting best actor. Um, he ticked all the boxes. Um, uh, he's just great. He's, he's playing someone that r r lived in real life. He's doing their voice. He's, he cried. He did a speech. He was funny. He was emotional. He's done it. No one else. I, I, I can't name another actor that it'll has be interesting done to something. See, yeah, it'll be interesting to see once the sort of... I, f I still feel like we were so far away from kind of frontrunners emerging at this point. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's got a nomination in the bag. No doubt about it. I think that's, a, that's an obvious one. Um, right. I feel like I would want him to win and be happy at the moment. I'd be interested to see who else emerges. Yes. But yes, I think he's got a great shot after watching this. Um, yeah, he is... I just incredible he is so good mm. um he had the audience in the palm of his hand for the entire thing it was incredible like the reaction from that press audience was i don't think there was there wasn't a big as big of applause for any other movie than there was for that people that was were a very clapping big during the film yeah for 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 jokes and lines and it was great it was fantastic i almost during during the actual tennis match um towards the end I genuinely almost jumped out my seat because um, I love tennis and it <laughs> felt it felt real. It felt like you were watching a, a, a serious yeah. tennis match, um, and it was it was fantastic. And it doesn't go like too technical into tennis to for for you to enjoy it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it was it was. Brilliant. That's the thing. It does it does kind of have like you did. I had a reaction to it as well in terms of like the way the tennis scenes are done. Um, I know you obviously probably knew more about it than I did. I know nothing. I I right. don't watch tennis at all. Um, very mm. much a part time supporter. I'll watch Wimbledon if Andy Murray's playing like a final or something. That's kind of like where my family kind of stands of it. Um, mm. So we don't. We, I don't know it very well. I don't know Venus and Serena's story very well. Um, so this was just really a really interesting thing for me. I just had no clue about it, and I thought it was it was really really cool. It was such an interesting story that I hadn't heard of before. And yeah, the mm. tennis scenes, I didn't know the outcome of any of the tennis scenes or anything like that. So I was sort of like going, oh God, <laughs> oh God, please. Yeah. She's just a child. <laughs> Somebody will help her. <laughs> mm. It's fun how um, sort of relevant it was because there is stuff in the, 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 the film that relates a lot to certain events during this year's US Open. Um and and yeah some some criticisms of some players in that US Open um on the men's division specifically Sisyphus yeah because wasn't there loads of stuff about people pressuring 
people too hard, basically. Younger players too. Because there was that whole Emma, Emma, Emma Raducanu. Uh, Raducanu. Raducanu. Emma, no, I'm... Raducanu. Her, um, yeah. her sort of whole thing was the fact that I feel like we were being pushed too hard. And also, was it the woman that pulled out? She did. Was it Emma that pulled out of the Olympics? Or was it someone else that pulled out of the Olympics? I, I forget. Because of just um, the sheer amount of pressure for being too I young. I was talking about how Sisyphus would take toilet breaks for like 10 minutes. Oh, I thought you meant more about the actual... And it was just bad sportsmanship. I thought you meant more about bad. the actual point of the film. About one of King Richard's, po- well, Richard's no, points no, was no. the fact that these kids are getting pushed too hard for their entire career, basically. And that was one of the things of the whole like mental health issues coming out. Because yeah. they touch on that in the film as well. They touch on the young stars getting burnt out too quickly. Um, mm-hmm. I forget her name now, Jennifer something, in the film. is one of the examples in the film. And she's like, I don't want her to turn in. I don't want Venus to turn into that. And mm-hmm. that's the kind of farm that this guy, because uh, they send Venus uh, to a, a, a training camp, to Venus and Venus to like a training camp. And that's the kind of stars that he's kind of turning out and i i know i had heard in the news stuff about um that kind of thing you know like the yeah. burning burning stars out uh, burning young tennis players out too much and mental health problems emerging mm-hmm. i will say though that it doesn't focus on that sort of enough for the for venus and serena um it sort of uh sort of uh passes by the the sort of negativity of the way that they were brought up and they're always sort of portrayed as being up for the challenge and they're always into to going and playing uh, tennis and training at night time and training in the rain. Um, and and it's always seen as, yeah, this is this is him sort of training them, sort of like, he, like Mr. Miyagi sort of montage of training. But he also did do some things, right, in that he, he did try to make them better... Edu- better educated mm-hmm. like he did he tried to they, balance that a yeah. bit better than just making them straight tennis players and that is it nothing else yeah they focused a lot on his uh sort of the wholesomeness of his character and um they very nearly made him sort of come across i don't know if it was just smith's sort of portrayal of him but he sort of came off as almost dumb but not quite they they sort of managed to veer away from that because he was he was quite a smart person and yeah. he, he sort of knew what he was doing and he has a plan for them um but yeah he's the the main focus is will smith and and he is the star uh of this film and yeah what a bloody star he is though like mm-hmm. he is just great he is such a leading man he's so good in that and he is i think this this is it i think this this could be it for mm-hmm. him like you said, I think this could be it from... I'm hoping. I, I, I kind of hope he does. Mm. I didn't realise that he didn't win for Pursuit of Happiness. No, was he even nominated for that? Did he get nominated for that? Yeah. Must have been. But I think I think this will probably be his, his Leonardo DiCaprio moment where it's, he's finally getting it. Maybe not for his, his best role, because I think Pursuit of Happiness was probably his best role. But... There's no one else. There's no. He's got a clear line. There's no competition, like, at yeah. all. People Nothing keep saying possibly. About. Yeah. Yeah. People say possibly Adam Driver in like House of Gucci, but I think that film's going to be too like ensemble-y, and it's not going to focus on Adam enough to for him to be a a main man and a and a and a proper competition. Uh, are you excited to see King Richard when it comes out on November 19th? Uh, have you seen it already? What did you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you're on YouTube, subscribe, like the video. If you're on Facebook, like the page, like the video. That'd be great. We're on Twitter, at OHI Films. Um, I'm at Cam's OG. He's at Real Geordie Steel. We've done a lot of London Film Festival stuff. This is our, our one of our final reviews for it um, going up. So if you want to check out all the stuff we've done from London Film Festival, go on the channel and have a look because there's all that stuff there. OHIFilms.com as well. All of, it's up, all of it's up there. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.